Okay, so on this lecture here, we are going to be building our folder structure for the course. Okay, so let's go and I'm going to create a folder here. I'm going to call this SMS just like that. And I'm going to put it on desktop right now. We don't need to put it anywhere else. Later on, when we want to make this work, then we'll put it on MAMP or XAMPP or whatever PHP environment. But right now, as a matter of fact, let's just do it now and, and get rid of it, right? And, and get rid of that task. So right now I'm in my HDD, HDD docs in MAMP. I'm just going to put that folder in there. And I'm going to open it up using my IDE that I'm using. Let me see if I come back here. Sorry about that. HD docs. I'm going to be using it. And right here sorry I just have so many different screens and that was just on the way there okay so let's start building our folder structure so inside this folder and don't worry too much about this external libraries and things like that this is my ID put in that there this folder is completely empty right now and I'm just gonna start build, uh, putting other folders in here so I'm gonna create another folder or directory if you want to call it that I'm gonna call this includes that's actually inside of my SMS. And then I'm going to create another directory. It's going to be called uh, public. OK, and those are the two ones, the two directories that I want to create inside the SMS folder. OK. So inside the public, I want to create another directory. It's going to be called the CSS. OK, so that's going to be that. And let's go ahead and create some of the files. OK, so I like to do this with my built in terminal here. OK, because it's faster for me. So instead of right clicking, I can right click on includes and I can do file and do config.php. Right. And if I do a less here, you can see that that's there. But I like to use the touch command in my Mac. I'm going to do init.php. So I'm going, I'm creating files. I created the config.php and the init.php inside the includes. Okay. But they don't, they, they need to be inside another folder called apps. And, and my bad about that. Another directory called app, not apps. Okay, so I'm gonna move that and put it in the app. Sorry about the confusion. Okay, so there is three directories, one called app, includes, and public. Inside the app directory, I have config.php and init. This is where all my configurations are going to be, and this is the file that's gonna be initializing everything. Inside my includes folder, Okay, now there I'm going to create the header.php and I'm going to create a footer. Okay, so you can see inside includes the footer and the header. Okay, now I want to go to the public directory. Let's see, I'm inside the public directory right here. Okay. And inside here, I'm going to create a couple different files. I'm going to create a file called code.php. I'm going to create another one called index. I'm going to create another one called reply. You can see why I prefer to use my command line, right? I can do create another one called success. That PHP. So I got code, index, reply, success, and verify. Verify that PHP. Okay. So if we check, take a look inside the public directory, I have code, index, reply, success, and verify. Okay. I got five files in there. 
inside the CSS, I'm going to right click and I'm just going to create it manually here. I want to create a styles.css file. Okay. That's all we are going to be doing in this lecture. Like I said, we were going to build the structure of our app with a thousand directories. In the next lecture, we're going we're gonna to continue. We're going to start having some more fun with this. See you in the next one.